for thermal binding for your books, um, and it also is a laminator. So what we have here is these are the four by six um, folders. <laughs> Binders. Binders. There you go. And it goes all the way up to twelve by twelve. We have several sizes on it. And the way that it works is you have this uh, glue, so it's kind of like hot glue, similar to it, where you just heat it up, it softens it up. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll get some pages, or whatever, you can put, if you make it a, make it a cookbook if you want, a signature book, uh, really anything, you can even take photos and just pop them right in there. Oh, those are fun. Okay, so, awesome. We're just going to use some blank paper here. So what it is is like you just place it into the thermal binder. You just push bind, and it's gonna blink for about 60 seconds to 120 seconds, and it'll go back to a solid blue, and then you'll hear not repeat. Okay, so that doesn't take that long at all, does it? So we're gonna wait for it just to go off. I can even start chasing it, start on the lamination. We have lamination folders, which is. We had carrying the eight and a half by eleven size, four by six size, and the twelve by twelve size. Well, this is actually very convenient because you can laminate yeah. and bind. In case you want to laminate the pages you're putting in, or anything like that. Yeah. So it's pretty simple. I mean, this is—it's not a new technology. I mean, it's been around forever. It's just bringing the two together and making it more convenient. You can't do them both at the same time. So. Okay. So we do one at, um, one at a time. Yeah. So do you know what the suggested retail is for this? Uh, we have, we have a solid glue. So you just take it out. I usually give it a few taps just to make sure it all settled in down there. And then you just set it on the back in the back. You have this little cooling rack. And it's just a little place to set it so it can cool down. It takes about another minute. Well, that makes it nice and easy. Yeah. I'm going to set it aside here so you can actually... And that just helps keep it from falling out. We'll go on just, just switch it to the laminate. Uh, it's already heated up, luckily, so we don't have to wait. But it, if it wasn't heated up, it has to heat up that part to mm -hmm. too, which takes about as long as the binding. Anyway, does. And so you just feed it in until it catches, and it'll self feed through. And we have. to add more to it, all you would have to do is you just take your other page, whatever you want to add into it, you just place it back in there and you just do the process again, it'll heat that glue back up, so you can add pages if you decide to add Oh, that's pages. pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, it's because it's just... A, it's because of the system that you're it's using. It's just the type of uh, glue that I might pull that into, so it's not dry yet, but... And you can see it's... But it all nice. has to do with the type of glue. And you can see it's a nice solid in there, so it's not going to come out. That's pretty cool. Provo Craft. Could you show me your embosser? Yeah. I'm